What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Shadows of the Damned. I'm your host, Gurkha Man. And, uh, you know, last episode we made it to this little house here. It has a book inside, which is no doubt going to tell an interesting story, and I figure, hey, we should probably find out what the deal is with this story, so... Actually, you know what? First of all, I'm going to use these upgrades that I've got, because that's going to bug me to keep shooting in the, in, the, in the bottom there. Um, let's increase the... Man, let's see, the reload speed and capacity of these weapons, neither of them, these things really bother me. Uh, well, actually, the capacity for the hot burner can go up a bit. And we'll put up the rate of fire for the, uh, for the light shot, because it takes a little while sometimes. All right, let's get into this uh, Beauty's Blind book and see what the deal is. Brava! Bravissima! A tidal wave of applause washed over Justine as roses rained down on the stage. It's a wonder they don't hit me, she thought bitterly. I'm the largest target for miles. After curtain down, she retired to her dressing room, set her horned Viking helmet aside, and waddled up to the mirror with a gelatinous jiggle. There was a knock at the door, and Henry Wallen appeared. Henry again. Jeez Louise. You were magnificent, Miss Vangelo. Did you see? The papers are calling you the finest soprano of the 19th century. He looked at the floor and shifted his feet uncomfortably. Every man in town loves you. Stupid Henry, moaned Justine as she examined her profile in the mirror. No real man could love a fat twat like me. She tried adjusting her midriff. Disgusting. She waited for the sigh, but today Henry's response was different. There was a rustle, a metallic thunk. Good evening to you, my lady. She heard the clack of the door. Justine gazed wistfully at the tintype of beautiful Bella Margot, the slender soprano she idolized in her youth. What was Bella's secret, she wondered, as she picked away at a box of truffles on the table. What indeed? A few minutes later, Justine was bent over the waste basket by the door, gagging and heaving. Eventually, she gave up and removed her finger from her throat. Then, at the bottom of the waste basket, she saw the roses and the letter, and remembered the rustle and the thunk. She opened the letter and read aloud. You have won my heart, and that is no small feat. Oh, how sweet! No small feat, she shouted in rage. A large feat, is that it? She crumpled up the note, threw it on the floor, and stopped on it for good measure. Something inside of her had snapped. From that moment forward, she was determined to never sing again. Her voice could go to hell, just as long as she could be beautiful. No one knows exactly what happened to Justine after that. Not the impresario who had begged her to come back. Not the reporters who had begged her to comment. Not Henry, who had been too crushed to face her again. Correct me if I'm wrong, G, but didn't Henry want to be crushed? I mean, come on, chubby chaser, anyone? When Justine's landlord finally let himself in, he was startled to discover a slim and beautiful woman in his tenant's armchair. She was naked, and her throat had been savaged. The blood had painted an inverse bouquet of roses on her chest. The woman held her own vocal cords in her hands. Oh, the end. I guess that's the story of... Uh... Who will be going up against next in? Oh god. I uh, did not expect this to come out of nowhere. <laughs> Hello! Goodbye. Oh shit, I missed. Bad, 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 bad. Things are hotting up here pretty quickly. Oh, beautiful. That was a good one. I'm happy with that. And he's stuck on the geometry again. I don't know what it is with these guys. It must be the hitboxes on their, uh, on the arm to cause it, but they do seem pretty prone to, uh, getting caught on stuff. Come on, come on. I don't... Yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah, constantly. Constantly getting caught on shit. This guy's taken a fair few hits, though. A few more than the last ones we fought. Especially considering this thing's, like, fully upgraded now. That's pretty impressive. You're trying to impress me, buddy. You're, uh... You're doing just that. Come on. 
Fucking Christ. This guy's really taking some abuse. Where are you running off to? Come back here. Just, just running off to get caught on shit, I guess. Am I even hurting you? I don't even know that I am. Come on. It looks like that wasn't actually doing any damage for some reason. Well, I fixed that. Come on. Come on. There you go. Couple of those. Couple of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll, uh, hopefully, let's see if this fucks him up pretty good. Ugh. Can't tell if I did any extra damage, but... Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I do love the dodging in this game. It feels really good. I don't know why most more third-person shooters don't, uh, embrace that. Come on, let me shoot you in the back here. Nope, right, too quick. This is a, a long fight. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks for all the diamonds, sucker. Um, oh, I've got more diamonds again, which means I can come back to this guy again and get some more upgrades. Lovely. What can I get you? Yeah, give me some more reddies. Some more red demons. One, maybe two. I should be able to buy two. Yeah, I can buy two. That's not so bad. I can deal with that. Two's plenty, after those other two I got earlier. Four upgrades and one level, like, I'm alright with that. I am okay with this. Alright, so now, just want to make sure I remember like, which way I'm going. No, it was the other way, wasn't it? That was like a pathway up here. Yeah, there it is, back up to the front. Well, this level's got a bit of wraparound design to it, which is uh, something I can appreciate. And it looks like there's... Ooh, ooh, what is this? That was a bit... weird? Ah. Looks like maybe there was some, uh... Some secret... pubiness that I missed. I can only imagine there must be some... pretty good little secrets inside that, uh... Pretty good little secrets inside that little shed there. Ah. Uh, that's exactly what this is here for. Oh. It must be, uh... There you go. There's one of them. And where's the other? Here it is. Um, let's get out of here before we die. So I've still got one more in there. By the looks of things, anyway. Is there anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Oh wait. No. Oh wait, yeah, we got this guy here. As I slowly watch my health drain away. Wonderful. I thought maybe I had to, uh... Maybe when the area was still shrouded in darkness is when I should have been doing that. Hey, but three red diamonds. Sounds good to me. Alright, baby, you eat this. Is that another environment through here? No, it's a brain. Uh-oh. Oh, you guys again. Well. Oops, I didn't mean to use that on you, but whatever, it works. Ah, uh, yes. I love the mechanics of those guys, like shooting off the, uh... Shooting with the ex Shooting with the bomb so you can... No, come here. Let me stomp on you, buddy. There you go. Wasn't that sweet? Bring it on. And there goes you, buddy. Give us your legs. Thank you. Eh, yeah, sometimes it'd be nice. I'll take him. Get some skull crushing armor. Now, I get the feeling this is just going to be a horde by the looks of it. Not entirely sure what the deal is with all these little bubbles coming out of the ground, though. It's a little... A little strange. Come on. Give me all the goodies. Gimme, 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 gimme. Are you just gonna, like, spawn infinite? Surely not. Surely you won't. I'm actually surprised that, like, these guys don't, uh, walk into the darkness and then turn into the 
shadowy ones. Or maybe they do, I don't know. Maybe I'm killing them too quick to find out. Oi, what are you doing, tricky bastard? Bye. Oh, more of yours, alright. No, I get the feeling it's just gotta kill a certain number of these before it, uh, before it transfers over. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah, see this guy's covered in shadow, so that is what's happening. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. Because I'm smart, you know? I mean, like, a, I give my brain a, a C plus for smarts. Beautiful. Yeah, alright. Escalation. Alright, come on. I don't want to be fighting more of you guys than I have to at once. Oh, hello. If I could just take out your legs like that, that would be lovely. Brilliant. Oh man, I'm gonna be. I'm already rolling in the money. I'm doing pretty. My sick. My sick leg shooting skills are really coming into their own. Ow, Jesus Christ. Oh god, this is a... Alright, this is getting a little... A little overwhelming now. Um... Come on. There you go. Alright, whoa, Jesus. It's the way they jump at you too, it's like, oh my god. It's like suddenly flying at you from the corner of the screen. <laughs> Doing these fucking crazy flying kicks. Alright. No, just stomp, just stomp on him. Don't let him attack you while you're doing it, just... Just do it. There you go, Garcia. You're getting it now. There you go. That was all of them? That was all of them. Nice and easy. The way I like it sometimes. Not all the time. That would be boring. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can... I got the brain. Awesome. I'll find out what's in here. Something good, I hope. Ooh. Oh, it's a loading screen. Hola! Is this the part where I speak now instead of holding my peace? Shut up! Hola! It's really you, isn't it? You came for me. I'm so happy. I can't tell you how long I've been here. I'm sorry it took me so long, baby. No apologies, Garcia. You're here. That's what's important. Girl just waiting to get out. Well, I guess we're up to a bus fight now. I think. I don't remember this actually. I don't remember this part of the game. I remember a lot of the stuff in the early games, but this this part, this later areas of the game are all kind of I've forgotten for the most part. Don't know why, I don't know if it's like, if it's just less... You want to flirt with danger, puta? Then put on your best dress, because tonight, I am taking you out! Ah, uh, it's gonna shoot out the windows, that's not seem too crazy. Except for all the damage I'm taking, because I'm in the dark. Yeah, gotta keep my liquids up. Get the fuck out of here before I die. It's a sure shit no light in here. Not difficult, but annoying. There we go. Is that all of them? Yeah. I think that was. Yes, come on, let's get out of here. Let's go, go, go! Wait. It isn't the way out. Oh, it was this way. I was going backwards, because I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm so dumb. There's a big gold thing on it. Dan, you stupid, 
stupid idiot man. Alright, well, I guess now I'm moving on to uh, Justin for All. Well, um, well, okay, I think this is the last level for this world, so I'm at 15 minutes, but it's a 2D paper one, so I think we should be able to do it. So let's, let's do it, we're gonna do it. If this episode runs over a little bit, that's a little bit of a shame, but I don't think it will. Hopefully, we'll see. Running a risk here. But you know, finishing the level would be pretty sweet. Music in this part's great. I would really like to know where the idea of this specifically, the uh, paper cutout shmup, I thought the, the necessarily the idea of there being shmups in the game, or necessarily the idea of, uh, there's a motorbike outside and it's very loud. Um, or necessarily the idea of, uh, yeah, paper cutouts on their own as an idea is interesting. And a shmup as an, I as an idea is interesting to have in here. But putting them both together is like even, more interesting to me. Like, why mix these two specifically is something I'm uh, curious about. But we may never know. Come on, down you go. You're a dead man. Ah, oh, not a single hit during that whole first section. Awesome. Ooh, flying over the. flying over the clouds. Alright. Oh, okay, so I can't touch her. I can't shoot her and I can't touch her. That's good to good to know. Oh, this oh it's a maze. Oh I really like the design of the clouds here actually. I guess the best way to know where to go is because uh, enemies will come out. Just don't touch her and everything should be okay. All right, come on. Such chill music. Uh, how are you all doing today anyway? I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting a little hungry actually. I'll probably make some eggs soon. Ow. Fucking bastard. Oh jeez. Okay, gotta get down here so I can get this. I'm not looking so fresh. Nice, made it. The sound effects remind me of another game. I think they use the sounds that she makes when you, when you shoot her in Viva Piñata. There's a certain piñatas which make that sound. I'm pretty sure that's what I remember from anyway. Alright, which one's this one? This one's a quick fire. Okay. Alright, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Too many enemies. Too many enemies. <laughs> we got like every generic scream sound in here except for the Wilhelm scream. Wilhelm scream would be perfect in here. Whoa! That's a bit sneaky. Guess I should be hanging back a little more than I am. Putting myself in risky situations for no reason. Diamonds. Oh, Jesus. Coming up from behind me now. Nowhere is safe. Nowhere is sacred. I'm doing alright though this round. This isn't this isn't going too badly. And yes, this does mean from memory the actual end boss is done within this uh within this this level uh style. Which is I don't know. I think pretty funny. I don't know if they just didn't want to have you, like, murdering a woman, or if they just, uh... Well, I mean, after the story that you read about her being a, uh, 19th century opera singer, I guess that kind of lends itself to, uh... This aesthetic is very similar to the sort of, like, books and that you'd read at the time. Kids' books and things. So, maybe that was their angle all along. I don't know. I wasn't there. It's the only real connection I can see, though. Like, I'd like to imagine there was more to it than just... Suda51 randomly going, you know what would be funny? Paper cutout shmup levels. Because even by his standards, that seems a little bit of a weird concept without having some kind of. Not that this stuff has any real deep meanings or anything to it, but a little bit of a weird approach for him. Mmm, diamonds. Alright, come on. Die, 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 die. You're dead! 
We're getting pretty close to the end of the game now. After this, uh, after this particular stage, you only have one chapter left. Well, hey, 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 what have we got here? Music change? That's usually a good sign. Oh, hello. Hello there. Yeah, it's got to shoot the red bits, of course. Oh, Jesus. Green tears of badness. Alright, let's uh, focus on getting, avoiding those. Um, this is a little tricky. Alright, we've got one of them. That's good. I never know what to do in these, if I should be focusing on where I'm shooting, or if I should just be focusing on my character and dodging. It's a little... It's one of those things with this genre. It also looks like things can go through your legs, and they won't hurt you, so that's good to keep track of. There's no hitbox for your legs, which is nice. I'll definitely keep that in mind. I want those bolts are going straight through for some reason. You can shoot these as well, which is good. Um, where should I be shooting her now? She's all starry. Just general, I guess? Oh, light shot. That's what I should be doing. Hitting you with a light shot. Yeah, light shots it is. Good to... We worked it out. This boss is actually pretty easy. A little bit too easy. I'm kind of surprised the levels are harder than this boss is. So far, at least. I don't remember if there's more to it than that, but... Or if this is even supposed to be, like, the actual boss. Like, if this is supposed to be... Supposed to be her. You want me to heal? Really? Well... I guess that's a sign that we're at the halfway mark. Yeah, you eat that. Take a... get a mouthful of the delicious... Mmm... Johnson. Oh, okay. Is that how we're doing it now? Um... Am I supposed to just sit up here and do this? I can't really do much else. This does not seem like a good situation to be in. And... oh no. Okay, I can still... I love the fact that she has a truck reversing sound when you were... Uh, when she catches you. That's pretty funny, actually. Come on. Just... just go down. Ah! Ah! Ah, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? It is kind of frustrating you can't shoot out the, um green tier shooty dispenser things. Come on. I'm shooting you in the head. I mean, that's got to be your weak spot, right? Nothing else that seems to be doing anything. Come on. Ow. Okay, so I, sh I need to be watching the... Uh... Ooh, a new weapon. Which one's this one? Hey, now we're talking. Yeah, how do you like, how do you like that? Delicious, eat it! Alright, so when she does this... Can I stay underneath here? Man, she's got some health. Oh, that might be it. You might have done it! You get crying monkey sounds, okay. Why not, sure. Okay, that was a little, a little weird. Well, was that it? Did we do it? Well, I got no control over Garcia here, so that must be the end. Oh, she's crying. Now she's sad. Hey, check it out! I think I found a banging underground shortcut. Well, I guess that means we made it. What did we get? Johnson's Skull Fest 9000 is upgraded to Skull Blast. You can now shoot a massive rolling bomb and destroy everything that comes in your way. Ah, oh, yes. So, I do remember that weapon, actually. It's pretty cool. It's a good one. I'll put it like that. Now, where are we to next? Well, that is in fact the end of Act 4. And moving our way on to Act 5, the final act in the game. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you join me for that next time. It's going to be a hell of a ride, so... 
yeah i'll join you for that i'll see you next time once again i hope you're enjoying the game i hope you're enjoying your week and your day and i will see you next time peace out ladies and gentlemen be kind to each other and i'll catch you next time